hello golden welcome and welcome back to the channel if you are new thank you so much for joining and to my old golden members i love you so so much today we are preparing one of the quickest peanut butter soup in the world so stay tuned and enjoy this is called off house i know the internals of animal are called off house so these are my offers this is my wele so i'm washing all that i proceed to grind my ginger garlic onion pepper this is the quantity i am using and then set my fire i wash my meat beautifully and place it on fire proceed to dilute my pepper and then add tomato paste to the meat and then finalize it by adding the spices to it add my tomato add whatever i need to add and then cover for it to boil beautifully i also wash and chop the cow skin but that will be placed in the soup at the latter part so after my soup has boiled beautifully i proceed to add more pepper work on my peanut and then grind the onion and tomatoes i placed in the soup after grinding the onion and tomato i take my precursor the english name for precursor is on the screen so i wash it chop it and then roast it we roast it to make sure the flavors are infused into the soup so i put it in my soup and then work on my peanut butter i dilute mash my peanut butter dilute it into a liquid form and directly pour it into the base of the peanut butter soup this process is very very quick no waste of time i grind the tomato and the onion i dilute it as well and then add it to the peanut butter soup i allow it to boil and then when it boils for a while i add the skin of the cow to the soup the reason why i delay before adding it is to make sure that it doesn't melt and stick to the bottom part of the saucepan so when i put it at this stage it has more time to soften without letting it get melted i have so many methods this is one of the quickest way i prepare it morning how are you all doing today i'm in the kitchen but i'm not the one cooking my neighbor here is the one cooking she's coming to prepare granite soup so come along with us as we learn how to make her grano soup she has already bought her garden eggs her tomato her pepper so she's coming to proceed to just start working with the ingredients that have already been boiled number in a way you me rizu instantly and now you my dear and simon so after she has strained the juices out of the tomato the boiled tomato she goes ahead to grind it into another smooth paste and she does it continuously till everything is grinded smoothly she strain it and then add it to her meat on fire So at this part of the video, she has finished training all her garden eggs, pepper and tomato and she's basically adding it to the base of the soup. She gives it a stir and allow it to boil and proceed to work on the granite paste. As the peanut butter she's using is 5 CD, I've advised her to do her peanut butter at home and she's buying into that idea. For now, she bought peanut butter of 5 CD and this is the quantity in case you are wondering, which is way smaller than the quantity of meat that is going on there. She said you basically add the peanut butter to the paste and then incorporate this too with your fingers and with your palm and make sure the oils come so that when you mash it and add it to your soup it can come out oily as quick as possible so after she does that she mash it in water and then add it to a soup it boils beautifully and then it is ready for consumption she consumed the soup with fufu throughout the only time she consumed it with bangkung was the first day of preparation where she served herself good and then boiled okra aside and then added it to the soup to thicken the soup the reason why the soup wasn't thick was because of the quantity of the peanut butter aside that everything came out perfect and even the consistency of this soup was perfect with fufu i'm back again with another video your girl is about to recreate a recipe from lena the name of her channel is exhibiting food recipe she prepared garnet soup that's peanut butter soup yeah i've never seen anyone prepare peanut butter soup like that so since it is unique and we've not tried it before we are coming to recreate it and see if it's actually going to taste good she used some bell peppers carrot spring onion onion garlic ginger she used tomato but i think she used two she used a lot of turkey berries i think this quantity is okay she used tomato paste she used pepper and she used cured lamb and beef but i don't have that but she stated that use any meat of your choice 
and since this is what I have left in my fridge, some tripe and one beef. I'm also going to use this fish. She used salmon, but let's just work with our money. Pardon so me. I'm adding some stock cube. This is the saltiest part, so I'm adding salt. So ginger. And she added some onion and garlic. So let's add it. I'm coming to grate the garlic as well. Green onion. She added green onion. Onion. She added turkey berries. I'm sure she cooked her turkey berries before. I will just allow it to cook with the steam. I didn't pre cook it. Meadows. This is how colorful my pot is looking, and it looks similar like hers. I need some black pepper. I don't know what she used. She didn't. There. I'll check in the description to see if she actually kept it there. A bit of curry powder. I love curry powder. Turmeric. And salt to taste. Okay, some salt to taste. We'll wrap the seasoning in. Should I add water? Mm. Coming to add tomato paste to the peanut butter. She used her hand to mash it. I think this quantity is enough. The thickness is okay. So the fire is ready. I'm coming to remove it so that I can blend. There is something happening here. This, if you don't do this thing, you'll be disappointed. Oh, the oil has come on top. So we're coming to scoop. Yeah, I had some. It's okay. And there is still some inside. How it looks. So we are adding this. Very full and it smells so good. I've never put the fish in, but it smells so good. This is the fish. Grab it and then put it in our soup. Soup. So our soup is too full. As you can see, the soup is boiling and it's time to add the oil. Here we go. Guys, I'm adding my fish. She added something like this. Mine is small, so I'm adding more. This is the soup. I hope I replicated it very well. I'll let it simmer for a while. If I hadn't repeated this soup, I would have regretted it. First of all, I wash the fish and marinate it with my homemade spice and salt. While we wait for the fish to soak in the spice, let's prepare the granite paste. The granite has lots of oil, which is rich in vitamin E. Vitamin E is an antioxidant that offers many benefits against chronic disease, but consume in moderation to avoid the risks of certain disease. Also, don't discard it unless you don't take oil for some reasons. After adding the paste to the pan, I add tomato puree, onion and pepper and mix it up. I go ahead to give it a stir till it is fried. The importance of this step is to slightly cook the paste and allow all the goodness sip into the paste to take away any funny taste that comes along with the paste. During the step, I make sure the heat is very low to avoid the paste from burning. We do not want any smoky scent in the granite soup. After the tomato puree have sipped into the granite paste, I add water and stir for it to boil a little. This step brings the oil out quickly because of the frying process. For the marinated fish, I add my leftover oil plus fresh oil for the frying of the fish. To avoid the fish from breaking while frying, it is advisable to use a lot of oil but I slanted my pot so the oil can gather at one place to increase the quantity of the oil. Oil is expensive and I can't use a lot of oil to fry my fish. Mm -mm -mm. But if you have oil, you have a gallon of oil or you can afford oil, go for it. Step. 
try picturing the preparation of stew which is so simple to picture and easy to remember to have a tasty soup base without meat or fish stock i fry my ingredients in a granite oil the purpose of this is to infuse flavors into each other and to make a tasty base before the water or the granite base is added After the base simmers gently, I add the fried fish and allow them to socialize till they adapt to each other and then break their friendship by removing the fish before the stew breaks its heart by tearing it apart. I then add the granite paste mixed with water into the base and allow it to boil for a while. After the soup is partially cooked, I place the fish back into the pot of soup for the purpose of reunion. I allow it to boil on a low heat so it's ready to serve. So simple and delicious. It is even tasty than a soup with meat. This can be eaten with bangkun, rice, yam or whatever you choose to eat it with. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. Don't hesitate to like, comment, share and subscribe to support me. And until next time, peace.